is Kevin McLeod with Oh Christmas Tree, and I hope you're staying warm on this blizzardy Christmas Eve. Reports of an inch an hour of snow coming into Elmwood right now, so... Well, this is a bummer. Yeah, what can you do, man? At least we got family. Yeah, you're right. Even Schmutzy's not home. Apparently he and uh, Mrs. Schmutzy, they went to see her family. Man, we can't drive anywhere. Seems like we'll be sleeping here. Well, it's a first time for everything. For you? I've slept here plenty of times. <laughs> After these beers, I'm stretching out on some chairs, and I'm closing my eyes. Not a bad idea. Silent night. Holy crap! Sweet mother of pearl, it's not fit for man nor beast out there. Or a bumble. Welcome to the wooden beaver. Thanks for being open. Mm. Oh. oh, Veronica. Um, should we be quiet? Oh, Wes? Nah, my brother can sleep through anything. Oh, good for him. Yeah, uh, what can I get you? Man, I would love a cup of coffee. Coming right up. I'm Rudy. I'm Quig. Merry Christmas. Thanks, you as well. So how did you even get here? <laughs> well, I was driving, was. Car got stuck in a snowbank about a block up the road. It ain't moving. Jeez. Nah, could be worse. True. Not that I'm ungrateful, but why are you open this late on Christmas Eve? Oh, we had a private party booked, and as you can see, they all got here before the snow did. Well, at least you're smiling. I've had worse Christmas Eves. Likewise. Do you need to use the phone? I, I, I heard on the radio a little while ago a lot of the cell towers are out. Nah, I called my wife, luckily got through, just before I walked in, but thanks for offering. Hey, no problem, man. Well, looks like we're closed. Time for a pint. <laughs> Good idea. Would you like one? On me. Please, and thank you. I'd gift wrap it if I had any paper left. <laughs> <laughs> Rudolph. <laughs> thank you again, sir. Tis the season. Speaking of tis the season, may I ask, are you a Christian man? Um... Oh, boy. No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm not a Bible thumper. Oh, thank God. I mean, no pun intended. I mean, I'm a believer. Don't get me wrong. Just curious about my gracious host. I'm, well, something. I believe in something. Show you some proof. And I'll believe it. Understandable. So, uh, why do you ask? Well, here you are, 10 o'clock Christmas Eve, offering me a place to stay and, well... Nourishment. It's a nice thing to do. Well, you know, me and my ancestors were innkeepers. <laughs> well, it seems you read the book and took it to heart. I just think we should try to be our best and be good to each other, you know? I do. I mean, I'm not perfect. I've been bad, bad, bad at times. Selfish, egotistical, greedy, maybe even a little off the wall. But I try, man. I do try. It's all we can do. Father, forgive us, for we have sinned. Santa, I swear I've been pretty good this year. So, what's your story? No, oh, you know, middle-aged guy, works a desk job, keeps me away from home too much. Married, 24 years, kids, dog, mortgage, not much to tell. None of that sounds like a sin to me. No, yeah. yeah. Five years ago, Christmas Eve... I was in New York City in a hotel, drinking alone, thinking about how I could hire somebody to possibly kill my ex-wife. Wow. Yeah, a year later, I was back here in town, thinking how stupid that was. So, any more to this tale? Well, this place is the tale now. I had a different career, but decided to take an early retirement. <laughs> my grandfather owned the bar, then my father. Now me and my brother do. I'm divorced, single, mostly. 
And sometimes bored. No, uh, lady in your life? Well, not really at the moment. Plenty of fish out there. Believe me, I got lucky. Actually, my story isn't as novel either. Thirty years ago, I was just getting out of jail. Armed robbery. I broke into this family's house, hoping to find something of value that I could pawn or sell. I was dumb, broke, 18-year-old. Desperate is the word, really. Came away from that event with nothing but a set of handcuffs and a two-year sentence. Scared the couple so bad, the man had a heart attack. Thankfully, he would recover. So would I. They send me a Christmas card every year, and I still mow their lawn. Well, it seems you've paid your debt. I'll pay till I die. But the year before, sitting in that jail, that Christmas Eve was worse. Well, how'd you get through it? I put myself there, and I knew it. I just had to keep the faith. Hmm. I knew I had to after I got out, and I have a family to thank for a lot of that. I met my wife about two years after I got out. <laughs> At a Christmas party, no less. At first, I was too scared to tell her I was a hardened criminal. Because I knew she was the one. I didn't want her to leave me. But she became my rock. We never held anything from each other after I told her. Four years later, we were married, and we began our branch of the family tree. That's awesome. I regret the pain I caused and what I did, but I don't regret the lessons I learned, nor where it has got me today. I'm thankful I got caught, because it got me on the right track. Well, man, you've come a long way. <laughs> so this guy actually put a woman in a dumpster? Two women, one dumpster. Under 24 hours. Oh, man. This place has seen some action. <laughs> I'd like to say there must be something in the water, but uh, no one really drinks the water here. Well, water wouldn't bring in much business. Very true. Oh, it's cold out there. Hey, uh, any of you guys got a blue sedan? That would be me. Yeah, I'm with the town. We're starting to get plowed out now, so uh, you should be ready to go soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yep, you got it. Well, you might make it home before Santa gets there. Uh, I still have to help the wife wrap presents. Yeah, maybe she beat you to it. I should be so lucky. Again, Quigley, thanks for the hospitality. You sure can't pay for the drinks? No, sir. My gift to you for keeping me company. Thank you. Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas. And keep the faith. Keep the faith.